Taking a look at Ford shares, moving to the upside of just about 1%. The automaker winning a massive loan from the Department of Energy. Yahoo Finance's Prof Supermanian has the details on that with just over $9 billion. And it's Ford and their battery manufacturing partner, right? Right, SK, uh, South Korea Battery Manu Manufacturing Company. Yeah, so it's like, you know, we knew these plants were happening, these three plants in Kentucky and um, Tennessee, but we didn't know that they had $9.2 in government low, low uh, in interest financing for these, for these projects. Massive loans, the biggest that the LP or loan programs office has ever lent to any, any manufacturer or any company for that matter. So uh, good for Ford to get that. GM and LG also had a smaller loan around $3 billion for their battery um, facility. So it's not unprecedented, but the size and scope is big. And people are asking, you know, is that ne necessary for Ford, a company that can tap, you know, private markets to raise money? Do they need this much government funding? But Ford would say, you know, this is a big deal. They, they gave us a statement and said that major tech, tech transitions take time. Uh, you need public and private sectors to work together. And the DOE's foresight here will help do the same for transition to zero emission transportation. So that's a big deal. I think that's why we're seeing that here. Uh, Pras, you know, in many ways, you look at this and you think, well, this sounds sort of similar to what we've seen in other countries like China, where the government gives huge subsidies to really support the, the local companies. I mean, the EV race, as we've discussed, is a global race. What does that tell you about the resources that are needed to allow for U.S. car makers, especially, to really pull ahead? So Kika Bloomberg did a big piece on this about the sort of history of the LPO and how there was, it was basically dormant for 2012 through the Biden administration. There was no money really going in and out. And that caused a problem because China was able to sort of invest more in that, the battery uh, ecosystem, battery ma manufacturing and, and materials. So they built out a huge lead because of the fact the government actually subsidized a lot of that industry. And I think right now what's happening is the Biden administration says, we need to be doing that now, we need to catch up. And that's why they're, they're able to kind of sort of tap those big money, big loans from the uh, IRA and make that happen here with Ford, LG, GM, that sort of thing. And they want to keep doing that uh, going forward. Let's talk about a leader in the EV space. That is, of course, Tesla. Yesterday, we were talking about a downgrade from Barclays. Today, Morgan Stanley out with a note downgrading the stock as well. I mean, does this really just come down to valuation and just the incredible run-up we have seen in the stock in the last month? Yeah, you said it right there. I mean, but basically, at least with Adam Jones here at Morgan Stanley, he downgraded the stock, but then hiked the price target 50 bucks to 250 from 200. So saying that actually there is potential for some more room to run, even though they think the stock is fairly valued because of the fact that there are still some skeptics out there that haven't gone on the Tesla train. But he said, yeah, it's an AI story. Uh, investors sort of have gone a bit too high, too too sort of uh, dreamlike in the in the sort of uh, AI's picture here because generative AI is different than you know the AI that you use for machine learning and, and Tesla's FSD, which which Jonas notes that's what's more that's the story here, not so much about the other stuff that Nvidia and, and companies like that are actually being into. So he says that you know Tesla is still the best positioned automaker right now in terms of the EV transition, but right now might not be the best time to buy, but but watch out because it could actually still keep going up. Year-to-date gains over 110%. All right, Pras, thanks.